All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Today, we're here with some data mine. All thanks to Paladins Poland and Ram Royale Poland. Uh, they've been doing data mines for pretty much Paladins and Ram Royale uh, for a while now. And I knew that for a fact, as soon as PDS came out, they would definitely come up with some information. And here it is. There's a new champion coming up after Atlas. Its name is still pretty much not confirmed. It says Tigron. So that's either like based on a tiger or some sort of a furry like I mentioned before. If you guys are sort of imagining what I'm saying. Now it also says that he is a druid. A druid. So like a sorcerer. It's kind of weird. But I, I just I can't see it on the story being a druid. But... I mean, it could be. It could be, yeah, somebody who gained the power of the stones of the the moon and so on. I mean, it could be, right? Okay. So here are the, the known abilities for this champion specifically. We don't know if it's a man or a girl. I think I think we don't know that it's a man or a girl. Um, the left uh, the left click basically is a weapon called glaives, and it does a six a seven hundred damage shots every second. For each each shot, but every second. So she can shoot. She or he can shoot 700 every second. That's actually cool. Um, the other, the right click. It's called the heavy blade. It shoots something that pierces enemies and deals 800 damage. Almost like the Q from from Leon. Cooldown is 10 seconds. It also has the name guided arrow. It shoots something that pierces enemies and deals 800 damage. So, like. Heavy blade guided arrow. This uh, these are the names that we have. This is also being you know sort of, um, how can I explain this? It, it, it's it's being translated from Poland. All right, so bear with me. If some things will not be correct because we still don't have the translation. I just use the f the functionality of Google. Then as for its Q, it has something called barrier. Adds 200, 500 shields. Hmm. Of 205,000 armor and it has a cooldown of 12 seconds. Now, I don't know if this is to the person itself or creates a barrier, but if it was to create a barrier, it would be something like a like a tank. And we literally just got a tank, so I'm not seeing being a tank. I'm guessing it would be some sort of a champion that to get some self sustainability, maybe like a damage or a flank, uh, it could pot up, up that shield almost like the Ruckus shield. So I'm guessing something like that. Then we have the F ability, which has the name Leap or Charge. Uh, it basically charges and for 0 0.5 seconds and jumps very high. So, yeah, I know that people are going to say, Wait, isn't that what Baptiste on Overwatch does? Yes, that is what Baptiste does. But to be honest, this has been worked before Baptiste came out. So, I'm not seeing them actually copying it, alright? I mean, if we go for that... Baptiste also has sort of a burst uh, weapon like Atlas. Also has a barrier that modifies projectiles. In this case, it modifies enemy projectiles. In his case, it, uh, it changes allies' projectiles. So, I mean, let's not go with that one, okay? Then, there's also skins beyond the champion, okay? We're gonna have you waiting for more information for the champion, but right now is that. So we got Maldamba, Steel Forged, and plus a recolor. So, I'm guessing this is going to be that sort of event, like the Halloween, because there's three skins like this. There's the Terminus, Androxus, and Maldamba. These three skins all have the name Steel Forge, and then they have the Recolors. So, I'm guessing it's going to be like the Halloween, where you would have to hunt down, uh, you know, bosses in the middle of the matches that would pop up randomly, and they would give you coins, so you could get the Recolors. If you would get the Golden uh, Coins, you could get the Recolors of that specific skin. So I'm guessing it's something like that. It would actually be, um, you know, be sort of an uh, idea for that. And in case you guys are sort of wondering what this Steel Forge means, uh, let me explain. Beric is about to get a skin. Uh, this skin... Initially, people thought it was going to be sort of like castle sort of style, you know, old times, castles and shit. Uh, but then the newest uh, images came out, and it sounds almost like the newest Ash skin. So, yeah, we already have voice lines and so on for that, uh, but the skin is coming out either way. Then we also have on the data mine something named Androxus Knight and Androxus Korean, which... It's really confusing. Nobody understands what this means. Maybe they're doing a version specifically for the Paladins on Korea, China. I don't know. 
I mean, don't, 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 hey, and don't even go and call me racist because I don't know what's Korean or Chinese. Uh, to me, it's just almost the same thing. Don't fucking bother me with that. Please. Thank you very much. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> Own set Fernando God of War. So, this either means two things. This either means that if you own the Sad Fernando God of War, you will gain something. Or, if you want to get the Fernando God of War, you can get it now with a new set. Which, to me, is going to be completely bad. I hate it. I hate the fact that I have something that is exclusive, and they're just popping it up on the game so people get it. It's good for them, it's bad for me, because no longer I can say, I have this skin and you don't. You know what I mean? I'm joking, but either so. It, it's I don't I don't like that. We're also seeing Golden and Ara. I really wanna see that shit. Fucking golden statue just walking around the map. Damn. <laughs> and golden Maldomba as well. So the golden snake is now gonna have a golden snickery. <laughs> I don't know what you wanna call it. But um so yeah, Maldomba and Inara are getting both gold skins. For those who don't know, Bomb King did get a gold skin this patch specifically, they forgot to mention. Um and then there's something called the Transient Collection on the gold chest. So it, it's, it looks like something that you have to collect. It's multiple things of the same theme, perhaps? Not sure. Then we have a new chest. And here it is on screen right now. Uh, this is the image for the chest. It's like sort of like star, like, you know, castles, old wars and stuff style and this is something i like this is something that a lot of people have been complaining so maybe we'll gonna get it and then there's also something called the new dlc called recolor dlc i'm guessing this is gonna be a dlc that gives you the recolors for every single character in the game i'm just calling it right now simple we're also gonna have a new splash art this time for strix this is it, it. um i don't know if you guys like it or not i mean the splash art looks good looks good and then there's new maps but these new maps, I'm guessing that they are either, uh, I don't know, uh, like, here's the thing. Some of the maps have names that we already seen before. So I'm going to say the names first, and then I'm going to say what this could be or not. First, Thrones Siege. Then, Bog District Siege. And then here it comes, Crossing. Yes, that's a Ram Real reference. East Watch, Moss Garden, Sand Bridge, Sierra, Undercity, Waterway, Crenshaw, and Wilt. I'm guessing this could be three, uh, one of three things. It either is test maps, which I'm guessing there are too many of them. It could also be... Uh, some maps that they already have sort of finished, but they're just testing it out to see which one they want to release next. Or it could also be the names of the places on a specific map. We've already seen this before where they have, because look at the names, like Undercity, Waterway, you know, Crossing, East Watch, Sand Bridge. I mean, I don't know, but it sounds like to me that it's something related to that, you see? Unless they're doing like some, some sort of events where you do like a TDM on these small maps, and these are the maps that we're going to get. But if these are all the maps we're going to get, there are a lot. There's at least 6, 9, 10, 11. There's 11 maps right there named. There's a lot of them. So I'm not sure if there's actually going to be that. But even so. Then there's some information apparently as well for Discord. Where I'm guessing that people with Discord Nitro. Nitro, Nitro, whatever you want to call it. Will get the chance to get a free Champions pack. Nice. Okay. They're getting a lot into Nitro, aren't they? The, the Discord, I mean. Damn. There's also some things that may be related to Discord and Nitro. The, like, for example, the Star Pack DLC. The Goddess Pack DLC. Obsidian Pack DLC. Gift Giving DLC. And copy of End Founders Pack. Of End Founders Pack. I don't even know what that means. But I'm guessing, like, maybe they are giving a chance for us to still get a Founders Pack from Discord. And these other packs, they already exist on Paladin. So I'm guessing they're only going to be putting it up. Like, you can now purchase them directly from Discord. It wouldn't be surprising to me to actually to happen that. So, you know, we got that. Then we got two other things, finally, which is the Capstone Challenge. So I'm guessing this is some sort of a, a mission where they're going to give you some spray or avatar, like always. And then there's the final thing called the Secret Room. I do not know what this is. I believe that on the last 
the last data mine. This was there as well uh, already. But I still can't figure out what the fuck it is. I really don't. I really don't. But it doesn't matter. That's pretty much it for the data mine. If there's new information, new data mine coming up, I'll be sure to try to make another video about it. But right now we got this, which is really, really awesome. Thank you so much for Lucas and Catrice. Uh, they put up great work on getting this information out. And I know that, again, as I mentioned before, this is data mine. This doesn't mean it's coming out for sure. This is things that are on the files and may or may not come out. There are things that are being tested by the developers when PDS is down for us. It's up for them to test stuff. So they test stuff there. All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to cut the video here. Thank you so much for, for watching. Again, if you're excited for this new champion, the Drew Tigran champion, um, I'm still thinking that some sort of a fox kind of thing because of the statues. But even so, thank you so much for watching. That'll be it for today, and I'll see you guys next time. And uh, go give some some love to Paladins Poland and Rum Royale Poland. I'll leave the links in the description. Bye-bye, guys. See you next time.